I'm Kevin Kurzlake, and you're watching Music Times. Oh, God. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, music videos are, are it's such a cool culture because you, know, you, you don't have to keep doing the same thing. You know, like every time I pick up a camera or write a treatment, you know, I want to do something that I've never done before. And, and, um, and that's a privilege, I think, when, when, when you're working in the arts. Cause I, and, and I know even within music videos, a lot of, a lot of directors get branded. You know, we want the video that looked like that video that you did for that other band. And, and uh, uh, luckily, I've never had to have those conversations. Um, and and uh, so that's very interesting. I think that, you know, the, 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 it's enabled me to be fairly promiscuous promiscuous with styles, with stories, with, you know, sometimes I'll do a narrative film, sometimes I'll do a, a comedy, sometimes something completely lyrical and poetic. And, and I think that some of the responsibilities that you have um, when you're doing films, obviously, is that you're, you're taking people on, a, on another journey, a longer journey. So it is most often rooted in what's the story or, or what are the series of stories that, 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 that will that will you know glue this together. So, and within the within those within those narratives, you can do these little forays into you know a poetic fil uh, film or, or short film or a, or an animated piece or you know all those things. And AM, for instance, has all those elements together. S sometimes it's just it's hard hitting, sort of. Uh, reporting really in terms of, of some of the stuff that he was going through other times I have animation and and um, and other times it's completely just lyrical and poetic so um, I whenever I think about a story I, I like to have as many of those elements sort of in play as as, as possible and and you know, the music video bag of tricks is, is uh, it, it's it's always something that I can rely on, and it's fun to go to, fun to use. Well, oftentimes you draw the inspiration from the song, you know, and uh, if 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 it if it hits you on a level that just your imagination just goes, you know, that's that's um, that's exhilarating. You know, sometimes you've got all these other ideas that are st have been stewing in your head, and and all of a sudden, you know, a lyric or a, gu a guitar lick or something like that will just all of a sudden, click and, and you know, it's it's like this strange epiphany, um, and then sometimes it's just surfing or meditation or or, or you know just being out in, in some place. It's, it's it's funny like inspiration can hit at the unlikeliest times, and and uh, just being able to be open to it um, is you have to be disciplined. disciplined. Well, I've seen. I've got a lot of friends. I I, 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 I have a lot of people who shoot for me. Who, who uh, I do a lot of live events, and 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 so I'm still around music quite a bit, um, and and hearing the stories that, that, that they go through, in terms of of uh, how hard it is to get music videos shot and 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 on and seen. Actually, that's 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 just as difficult. Um, like AM to some extent, I was lucky to have been you know, right at the sweet spot of you know, MTV coming up, and and uh, you know it was just the hot new thing. Everybody was going on MTV all the time. The you know videos were very very popular, and I worked in a wing of that world that um, we didn't have many chaperones. You know we we. Uh, the bands that I was working with, you know, they were sort of like the punks on the label, you know, and, 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 and even I did a lot of indie, indie stuff, but at that point, a lot of the majors were seeing what was going on in alt rock, you know, alternative rock. And, and then they, you know, they try to, the bands would put out one or two albums and then they'd get snatched up and then, you know, their career would either flourish or implode. But still, even while all that was happening, uh, I had, an opportunity to, to, like the bands in, in creating their music, just do everything that was that we were just inspired to do. We didn't have to, um, you know, get approved by this whole army of, of, of record executives, and um, you know that that came to pass ultimately, and it sort of it stifled 
some of the creativity. But you know, through that through that era, through through a, that passage of time, um, there was just some amazing work. Not uh, and by a lot of directors, really amazing directors. So um, anyway, I think that. I just don't know if you if you see that type of output right now. I don't see it in music. I think that the, the bands say in the early 90s, mid 90s, I mean, you'll never see that sort of, um, the roster of artists that, that just blew, blew everybody's mind. Um, it, was, it was an incredible period to live through. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Something's going on, but look, I think that uh, you know whether wherever the Renaissance happens, and and it will inevitably happen, then uh, uh, hopefully it will be it will transcend even what that Renaissance was. You know, it's funny. I I, I get asked a, a lot to you know <laughs> give me some advice to do music videos and and and. What I always say is do a movie, because I think that um, you know when you do music videos or you do as a filmmaker, there are so many different formats that are available to you, and 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 I think to restrict yourself to one of them is um, it limits maybe the, your growth as an artist and 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 your potential to tell to tell stories, and I think that if you if you go after the big dog, the film. You know, you'll have time to do this, the the short films and the music videos and the commercials and things like that um, within the, while you're developing that. And, and I think that um, you know, just think big, think big, and 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 do what you can to remain independent. Because the the, the more that you are at the beck and call of of a system of any sort, whether it's the studio system or the or the music um, the, the music industry. Um, you're going to suffer, <laughs> and 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 what you want to say to the world is going to be um, diminished to some extent, you know. So I think that uh, you know, just run run film through the camera, however you can do it. Just run film through the camera. You know, grow as an artist through the camera. That's that's the biggest advice I can I can give to an artist because um, you know a lot of people focus on the business and you know shaking hands and all that stuff's important for sure but um, but I think that growing as an artist is, is you know, y you'll find your way if you if you keep running film through the camera